Hello, my beautiful darling loves. Welcome to your reading for the collective. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the, 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 the channel, my name is Gina. I do have a Cancer, Leo, and Virgo only channel. If you would like to check those out, the links are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winner is announced. If you would like to win a four question text reading with me, just go ahead and post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for with a green heart. Winners are announced once a month on the community page. Um, what else do I want to tell you? For my cancers only, I do have Patreon. You can check that link out. I believe the link is below. Um, if you would like to book a reading, the link is below. If you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, the link is below. And if you would like to check out my tarot tutorial, the link is below. All right, let's get popping and let's see what we have here for my beautiful collective, please. Tell me about the collective. Oh, I just lost my voice. We've got Obsessed and we've got Autumn. Tell me about the collective, please. We've got Resentful and we've got Past Life. We could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra. We've got Seducer here. And we've got No. Okay. So collective, what you have here is a situation where you have somebody from your past that is big mad because they chose wrong. This is someone that allowed themselves to be seduced and they're resentful. So what happened when you guys were together collective is that this person felt like you what it says on this card is I hate the fact that you think you're better than me. It makes me want to humble you. So this could be a situation here collective where this person um, was intimidated by you. You made them feel insecure or triggered. Not that you intended to do that. It could be that you made more money than this person. You were better looking than this person. You got more attention than this person. You had more success than this person. Um, Sometimes, and a lot of people don't realize this, okay, let's just say cancer, you have a, a very strong family dynamic, okay, you're close to your parents, close to your siblings, and this person came from maybe a broken home, and they uh, feel some type of way that you, you know, got to grow up with family, or that your parents love you, or whatever the case may be, it's almost like, oh, you think you're so special, I'm going to humble you, and I'm going to treat you like you're worthless, and I'm going to choose a third party over you, that was a mistake, that was a mistake, because now they're sitting there stalking you, obsessed, infatuated with you. And I feel like by the fall, this person's really going to realize that they should not have made this decision. You could be a past life soulmate with this person, but I feel like ultimately this is someone from your past. Okay. I feel like this is someone from your past that's, that they... They wanted to hurt you. You know, they cut their nose to spite their face, right? That they, they had a plan to humble you or to make you feel like shit. And it ended up blowing up in their face because they ended up losing somebody that they could have had a beautiful life with. Okay. Liar and forgiveness. This is somebody that betrayed you. This is somebody that they, they left you for someone else. Okay. And now they want your forgiveness. They want your forgiveness. They they want to start on a clean slate. We've got tired and we've got options. So collective, I feel like this person left you for someone else. It didn't work out. They're dating multiple people and they're just tired. They're tired because they made a reckless and stupid and hasty decision and now they're looking for you in everybody that they meet, okay? They, they can't seem to connect with anybody else. They don't have that same vibe. This person is missing you. And I, I feel like this person kind of, they do hate the fact a little bit that they can't move on from you. I have to be honest when it comes down to that, okay? 
we've got no and gold digger here. For some of you collective, you may have made more money than this person. And you may have been under the impression that this person used you for finances and then left you to go be with someone else. That's absolutely not the case. That isn't the case. This person wasn't with you. If anything, they resented the fact that you made money and it made them feel inferior to you. So it, it wasn't about the money. Some of you may be under the impression that when this person comes back around that, you know, oh, it's just because they need money. That's not the case. With separation and karmic, this is somebody that has learned a tremendous amount of karmic lessons since you have been in separation. And what they've ultimately learned is that they are in love with you. They are in love with you. You may feel like this person is shallow or superficial, that they're only with you for money or whatever the case may be. It's really not the case. You are home to this person, but there's something about you that makes them feel inferior. You have money in your life. Maybe you're good looking. Maybe you've got family. Maybe you've got people that love you. I don't know, but there's something in it that, that you have going on that this person resents you for. And they wanted to make you feel worthless. They wanted to make you feel like crap. And that's the only reason why they went towards third-party energies. We're going to go ahead and use Royal Rose Tarot. This is one of my decks. This Oracle deck is also mine. If you would like to check them out, they're on my website. Okay, let's see here. Spirit, tell me about the collective. Again, Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor here with the Six of Wands. So this is definitely a, mas a divine masculine energy, but this is somebody that you guys could, I feel that collective, you could have had a very good life with this person. They, they know that they sat in Emperor energy, but by association. I feel like there may have been a financial difference between you guys, or maybe, I don't know, maybe you guys had an inheritance or something come in. There, there was definitely a financial difference. And this person, you know, I think that collective, you did not um, make this person feel inferior. You wanted to share your abundance with this person. This person was living an amazing life. You respected this person, but with the tower here, they didn't like that. I got to be honest, I, I don't usually read gender in my readings. I don't. I read energy, okay? But divine masculine energies do not want to be provided for. I'm going to make it clear. Okay. So for my feminines out there that are sitting there saying, I did this for them. I did that for them. I bought them this. I paid for this. That is not what they want. Okay. Masculine energies, they, it doesn't feel good when you do stuff like that for them. They may need it. Don't get me wrong. They may need the help or the assistance, but they hate the fact that they need help. They hate the fact that they need assistance. And if you give it to them, there's always going to be this underlining resentment that you did. That is why you see so many situations where women or feminine energies help a man come up, okay? Help a man when he's down and out, and then he'll leave and go towards somebody that can't do a sh shit for him. Because men or masculine energies, do they want to be a protector. They want to be a provider. They don't want to owe anybody anything. They don't want to, you know, they just don't, they don't like that. They don't like it. So that is why with the Six of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Tower, this ex ran off with a, a Queen of Wands energy. That's why they ran off with somebody else. They didn't like the fact that their abundance or their lifestyle was being provided for by you and not them. But with the Hermit here and the Three of Wands, they're asking themselves, you know, does it really matter who pays the bills? I miss the collective. Virgo energy, Aries, Taurus energy. I miss the collective. 
Page of Pentacles here, the Four of Wands. This person wants to come back home. They're tired. They're tired of pretending they don't love you. They're tired. You know, so this person is more focused on superficial shit, not realizing that they had real emotional ties towards you. They had real emotional ties towards you. I feel like the way this person feels collective is with the eight of pentacles, the moon card and the seven of cups. Like, okay, so if you're sitting there making all the money and doing whatever, what the hell am I supposed to do? Like, what do you need me for? You know, Pisces energy, you know, what, what am I, you know, I love you. I love you, but I'm not comfortable with the dynamic that you have more than me or that you're better than me. So what the hell am I supposed to do? With the Eight of Wands here, the Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Empress to the Emperor, with the Ace of Wands here, I'm seeing a conversation taking place where you're having this conversation and saying, listen, I love you too, and I want to make this work too, but don't think that you're invaluable. It doesn't mean that because I pay the bills or I have this or I have that, that you don't bring value to this connection because you do, you know, um, you know, okay, so maybe you don't pay the bills, but you know, you'll fix the car if it's broken or you'll do this or you'll do, you do things for me in my life. Like, you know, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. It's like this feminine energy is trying to explain to this masculine on, okay, so you don't, you know, you're not doing that traditional role of being the breadwinner or whatever, but you do bring things into my life that help me. Do you understand? You do take the car to go get an oil change or you make sure the lawn is mowed or you do that. You, you do have value in my life. You may not see your own value because you think that you're only valuable if you do this. Do you understand? But it doesn't mean that because you don't do this, but you do other things that you're not invaluable. So you're sitting in your feminine energy here, collective saying, listen, you know, you do bring value to my life. You, you do, I do value you and cherish you. You know what I'm saying? You, you give me, uh, you know, this, or you give me that you're someone that is my strength at the end of the day. If I'm stressed out, you're there for me. If I have a problem, you're there for me. Do you understand? Um, so it's a, it's this, this conversation that's taking place about, yeah, so maybe things are not traditional. Maybe, you know, you don't do this or you don't do that. Maybe I have to do it, but you do other things that really help me and, and things that I appreciate, things that I cherish, things that, you know, so there's this, this, this conversation where, how do I want to put this, this, this masculine energy has this tunnel vision of what they're supposed to do. Like I'm, I'm the man or I'm the masculine and I'm supposed to do this. Right. But the feminine is trying to show the masculine, like, listen, these things don't matter to me. Okay. It doesn't matter to me that I make more money or this doesn't matter to me, or that doesn't matter to me. These are the things that you bring to the table that I love and cherish and appreciate. Okay. So this masculine energy is having to widen their view here or think outside of the box and realize I do bring value to the table. I do bring something to the table. The collective does appreciate what I bring to the table. And the masculine is having to do this because it's like, you know, I really love the collective, but I don't know how this is going to work. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't know how this is going to work because I can't handle the fact that the collective pays the bills or that the collective does this. I don't want to sit there feeling unneeded because the way this masculine is feeling here with this moon card, the eight of pentacles and the seven of cups is what fucking purpose do I serve? You don't need me. You know, you got your shit together. You got your family, you got your money, you got all the stuff and things like what, what do you need me for? Like this, this masculine energy feels worthless, unwanted. They feel unneeded on a, you know, and I, I feel like this masculine energy doesn't realize with this eight of pentacles, the things that they do do, how precious they are to the feminine. Okay.
like if this feminine energy has their own business or a high powered job, just having a masculine energy there uh, to talk to or somebody that will go fill up the gas tank, you know, per, I can, I can honestly resonate with this because I live alone. I run a business. I run multiple YouTube channels. I've got two dogs. I've got, I own my own house and I have to do everything. You know, I have to be on top of my car, my dogs, my house, the inside, the outside. I have to worry about everything. You know, if there's a problem. I have to worry about hiring somebody, doing all types of things. You know, I like, you know, I have to worry about everything. So if I had someone in my life that could at least just make sure the car, you know, the, the oil change is done on the car, the gas tank is always full, or I have an errand to run, they could go do it for me and it takes something off of my plate, I would be so appreciative of that, right? But sometimes masculine energies don't see it that way. They see it if they're not, if they're not providing or protect, like, they, you know, there's this tunnel vision on what is expected of a masculine and it's hard to step outside of that box. Okay. So there's a, a conversation taking place with the feminine and the feminine is saying, are you insane? Of course you're valuable. Like you do this for me, you do that for me, you do this for me. And you have no idea how appreciative, how much it helps me knowing that someone is there. You know, if I can't make it to do something, you're there to help me. If I can't, you know, at the end of the day, when I'm tired and exhausted, you're there to hug me or hold me or rub my back. Or, you know, you make dinner at night, which I can't tell you like how much I appreciate being able to, you know, come home and just have someone there to give me a hot meal or you'll run out and buy us food or you know, ju just these little things. Do you understand what I'm saying? You, you'd be surprised a, a feminine energy that does a lot. Like for instance, like me, it's like, I always have to drive everywhere. And one thing that I miss is having someone in my life that will drive. Like I miss being a passenger princess. So for me, like if I ended up in a relationship, let's just say with someone that loves to drive, it would be like the world to me that I don't have to drive everywhere. Do you understand? So I think, you know, in this new day and age, in this new day and age, you know, things are just different. Okay. Things are just different. You know, feminine energies, women are out here making money. They have more, they're accomplishing things. And you know, it just, it just is what it is, but it doesn't mean that a feminine energy doesn't appreciate these little things. And I, I think sometimes masculine energies just don't understand how valuable those little things are. You know, just having someone at the end of the day, I can't tell you, I cannot tell you how many times I've go lay down at night and I panic like, oh my God, did I lock the doors? You know what I'm saying? Did I lock? And I have to get up out of bed and make sure, you know, what it is to have like a man in the house or a masculine energy in the house that just makes sure that everything is shut off or locked before they get into bed, you know? So it, it's just like all these little things. I think that in this new day and age, masculine energies don't realize, you know, if they're in a connection like this, how valuable those little things are, you know what I'm saying? How valuable those little things are. So cancer, I mean, there's definitely the can't not cancer collective. Oh my gosh. I said cancer. This is it. I'm going to hear it in the comment section. This is not a cancer reading. It's a collective reading. So yeah, collective, I, I'm feeling this conversation taking place and I feel like this masculine energy is going to have to open up to understand like this masculine energy just feels like they don't serve a purpose and and because they feel like they don't serve a purpose or they feel worthless they wanted to make you feel that way and they're realizing here that this is more than just i mean you guys are showing up as emperor empress energy with the four of wands this could be twin flame a strong past life soul tie this person doesn't want to be without you okay that's it i mean that's the bottom line they just don't want to be without you but at the same time they don't understand how being with you is going to work when they feel this way on the inside so there's going to be this conversation that's going to take place in this masculine energy i think that the feminine out there are going to open up this masculine's eyes and make them realize like, listen, you don't understand how valuable it is, how valuable it is to just have someone there. Do you understand that, that I know I can count on or rely on? Okay. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I love you all so much and I will see you soon. Take care, my love.